Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, you know, as usual, we challenge a cult, it's called Islam. And the cult of Islam is based in whatever cult they base on. Fabrication, lying, deception, and uh, why you will be surprised. Today, as usual, we have an open challenge for Muslims. I'm going to open my Skype from now. From now, not next year. And I will say to the Muslims, anyone who claim knowledge, the one who claim knowledge, we don't want a fool. Maybe if you are a sheikh, that he will be even better. If you are a person with long beard, that would be wonderful. If you are a person who think that you have answers, that would be so good to be true. My Skype will be open for you, and it's already open, and I will be happy to take Muslim calls one after one. All what you need to do, just give me a text in the Bay TV account in Skype, and I will put, to live, put you live on air. And guess what? Feel free to prove to me in any way you mean, any way you like that Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God and Quran is a book of that God. Just do it. How you do it, you know better. I'm giving you open challenge to do it in the best of your knowledge and to convince us. In the meantime, I searched in YouTube, sorry, in, uh, in uh, Google as usual, waiting for Muslims to, uh, to call us. During that time, I searched just I searched actually a minute ago and uh, I found this website I will put it for you on the screen nine scientific miracles of the Quran number one will surprise you I mean what about number one and two and three and five and six sound like a Korean like a skip number four uh, Nine scientific miracles of the Quran, number four, will surprise you. You know, uh, the Muslims never claim, by the way, Quran have a miracle of science. But there's a guy, his name is Harun Yahya. Harun Yahya is the first one who come with this uh, false, uh, stupid thing. His name is Ad real name is Adnan Oktar. Okay. My keyboard is messed up. I need to get a new keyboard. And I order actually and it's taking forever for Amazon to send it. The letters are not functioning correctly. I type N, I type for me I. Oh boy. Okay. Let me try something else. See, all this time just to type the name Adnan. <laughs> I don't, I hope that uh, uh, I refresh. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the guy who is behind the scientific miracles of the Quran. He is a Muslim, very powerful believer, and he practices Islam very well. Every day, he go live on air, like me actually, but he have different kind of show. He have like beautiful girls who they are shaking it, shaking it, and this is how he proved Islam to be from God, as you see. This is life on air, by the way. This is his show, life on air. You see the difference between my show and his show? This is why, if I have a show like this, you can imagine how many people will subscribe, man. You know? So every day, he do this. And he is the one who come with the first book. Actually, there's a guy, his name is Use, uh, Useless, or Yusuf State. He said, the first book ever he saw about miracle uh, science, uh, scientific miracle in the Quran, 
it was the book of Adnan Oktar and, Oktar and he said thanks to Allah Allah he sent this book to him and actually here we go this is him Yusuf State speak about Harun Yahya nine years ago okay they were praising him etc and you know the funny nobody from the Muslims I mean they are praising him nobody noticed that this guy is I mean look what he's doing I mean do you see the party this is Islamic religious show anyway this is not our topic I mean, this is Islamic show. This is very pure Islamic show. All right, well, fit perfectly with Islam. So he is this guy. He is the one who come behind uh, uh, the scientific miracle of the Quran. We'll just give you a background of the author. And then the Muslims, they start following, copy paste, and they start posting his articles everywhere. Zaik and Naik and all those copy paste nation. Then if we go down, you will see the first scientific miracle in the Quran is the Big Bang. If we ask any Muslim, who of you Muslims believe that the Quran spoke about the Big Bang? And who of you do believe in the Big Bang? Any Muslim would like to call us and show us how he believe in the Big Bang? And how the Quran speak about the Big Bang? Do you Muslims agree that your Quran teach you that Allah created the earth and the heaven by Big Bang? Who is a Muslim want to do that? Anyone? Anyone? My Skype is open. Who is a Muslim? Agree that the Quran says that Allah, he created the earth and the heaven by the Big Bang. Listen carefully. Either you agree with this or you have to admit that your Muslims are lying to us. So actually I'm not leaving you a choice to agree or not. You have to agree. Hmm? What do you say? Somebody saying his name is Marco. Uh, he said, CP, Catholic priest first came with the expanded universe. That's not true, my friend. The Bible mentioned that before Catholic priest and your father and my father was born. Isn't it the Bible says he stretched the, the sky like a curtain? What Catholic priest? This is in the Bible about the expand of the universe. However, our book is not a book of science and we don't want it to be. Who is a Muslim? He want to tell us how in the world the Quran became a book teaching about the Big Bang. Any Muslim? We want someone who have knowledge, please. Anyone? As long as Muslims are not responding, I mean, what we can, what we can say? What we gonna do, Scooby Scooby Doo? It's religion of Scooby Scooby Doo. Anyone? Okay. As long as the Muslims are not brave enough to call us and, you know, we are waiting. Let us see the claim. Quran. أَوَلَمْ يَرَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِأَنَّ السَّمَوَاتَ وَالْأَرْضِ كَانَ تَارِطْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُوا this verse is speaking about the Big Bang. Obviously, the one who made the claim, he have a Big Bang in his head. Let us see how we can read it and laugh together about the Big Bang claim. I mean, the Muslims, in order to make their book a holy book, they come with holy dreams. It's a holy dreams. Because, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, those dreams are coming from Allah, obviously. Let's go to the verse. Uh, 
Uh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Where is the letter now? I'm trying to find. Okay, which one I will type, and that will give me the correct letter. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is the verse. You know, uh, intelligence is a, is one of the gift God He gave us, correct? But I assure you, not all people have it. I mean, uh, because they follow a false god, that talent disappear. Look what the verse is saying. Have not those who disbelieve know that the heaven and the earth were joined together? Muhammad is speaking in his time, 1400 years ago, and he claimed that those people, they knew. So 1400 years ago, people, they knew the Big Bang, and they saw it, and by the way, it doesn't say no, that's a false translation. It says, didn't they see? Change the translator, change the Abdul. Miracles happen. Huh? Have not the unbeliever then be healed? What? What be healed? Change the translator. I think this guy was using Google translation. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't these unbelievers see? See? that the heaven and the earth were together and Allah, he fitled in Arabic. You see the translation is not correct in the second part. Uh, you see when you have a stitches, you have a stitches and you open it. So there's a stitches. And this is absolutely false because we are inside the universe. We are not separated in any way, in any mean. We are just a little tiny particle swimming in empty space, floating, let us say, flying, whatever you want to call it. So the Quran is claiming that the earth and the heaven, they used to be together and he separated them. That's absolutely false. Secondly, he says, don't they see? That's something we see. Do we see that? No, we don't. Who see it? Any of you Muslims see it? If we go to scientific websites to see what is the Big Bang exactly. This is NASA official website. NASA. This is not Christian Prince Space uh, Place NASA dot government. What is the Big Bang? When the universe began, it was just hot, tiny particles mixed with light and energy. But the verse says that Allah He separated the earth and the heaven. So he's talking about two things that exist already. He just separated them there. Do you see, guys, how how the 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 claim collapse? We have uh, Johannes saying, "Human gods, Johannes, you are a Muslim, and why you call yourself Johannes Christian?" Hmm. If you are a Muslim, call me. Don't be a tech terrorist. Be a man and call. Don't be like Fifi, Mimi, Susu, cowards. Call me. They don't care. They don't dare to call me. So as you see here, the Big Bang, what the science talk about, that there was tiny particles mixed with light and energy. It was nothing like what we see now. As everything expanded to took up more space. It cooled down and blah, 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 blah. And by the way, all of this is garbage. Why? Because still you did not tell me the, the, the origin of the universe. You did not tell me where is those particles coming from. If we go with this uh, theory of the Big Bang, okay, you, you just said there's energy, there's particles, there's light, but you did not tell us where they are coming from. You know what I mean? So how this is, can be the origin of the universe? Where the light came from? And where the particle came from? We bought them from, uh, uh, from Walmart. So this is, cannot be even accepted for kids to be a theory 
because the theory is not talking about the origin of the universe really it's talking about that something happened for things was exist this is not the origin then and this is a clean there's no way to prove it it's a theory but because islam is based on deception they adopt any popular theory to make islam popular but as you see, the Quran did not say that there used to be tiny particles and we and light and energy. The Quran says that the sky and the heaven, they used to be attached together and we separated them. And, you know, for me, I do not need to read the English translation, which I don't agree with, but you can read any translation you wish. All of them, they are saying it clear that they used to be stitched together which means the earth was exist, the heaven was exist, and he separated them. That's all what the, what the Quran is saying. How this became the Big Bang Theory? Hmm? Heaven and earth were one piece. What about we go and read the interpretation for those verses, and why none of them say that this is what it's meant? How come the Muslim scholar, they say something, and the Muslim YouTuber say something? How come Muhammad, he got them busted? Let us see Muhammad explain to us the Big Bang of Allah. Shall we? I'm sure now the Muslim, they will say, Oh, Muhammad is a liar. He is the Muslim. He is a fabricator. Let us hope that my keyboard will work. Here we go. This is the Big Bang, brother. And this is Sahih Hadith. Very Sahih Hadith. Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday. Uh-huh. Where is the Big Bang? Allah created the clay on Saturday. Allah started with the clay. The first thing Allah, He created the clay. Shouldn't you create the space first? Shouldn't you create the place for the clay? And how you create a clay? Shouldn't you make water and dust? What a clay? So the first brother, the uh, Saturday, it was Saturday brother. And you will see the dad and Zach and Nick and all those dummies, they say, <laughs> Brother Fitta, in the Bible, it says that God created the world he think did. And he created the world light he will be. And this is exactly what the dad he said. In the Quran, brother, the word yom is used for a period. It's not a day 24 hours. It's for what? For a period. And that period can be a million of years. And this way, the Quran is absolutely, in absolute correct with the science, a prevent. Don't forget to op open your umbrella when Zakarnaik is talking. But look, the, you see that, how they lie? Go watch the videos. Muhammad is saying, Allah created the clay on Saturday, he created the mountains on Sunday, he created the trees on Monday, he created the old uh, uh, things in time in labor in Tuesday, he created the light in Wednesday. They go watch the video of Didat and Zakanaik making laugh, or laughing at the Bible saying that God in the Bible says he created the sun in Wednesday. <laughs> Christians, how you believe in this? Didat, he said. In your book. In your book, it says that God created the sun in Wednesday. In my book, it says God from the beginning said, let be light, and light was. So there was light already. In your book, you idiot, who was making fun of the Bible, he was saying how the whole world was without sun for all those days. This is your prophet. The whole world without light. In my book, God created light first. He said, Let be light, and light was. I see some people saying they want to challenge me. It's your Bible, Johannes? Why you don't call me Johannes? And why you call yourself a Christian? If anyone he is a Christian and he's supposed to be sarcastic, being funny, I will block you. Because for me, I don't know who you are. I take your word seriously. So if you are a person trying to be play funny, I will block you. 
If you are a Muslim sick, making a statement, you are welcome. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? So the Big Bang claim of the Mohammedan is absolutely a lie. And we just prove it to you. So why you Muslims you lie? Why you make things up? It's against your religion in order to make us believe that Islam teach science. The answer is very simple. If Islam was a good religion, Muslim would be not lying. What Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So if your God is good and your prophet is good and your religion teach you how to be good, then why you lie fabricate miracles, saying Quran, teach big science the big bang what a few people know however is that holy quran described the big bang perfectly 1400 years earlier and like now abdul who have no idea or somebody is naive he said wow this is really in the quran it took us two seconds to show you that this is nothing but a fraud do we have a muslim And I encourage the Christians not to call me. Actually, hold on. I'm thinking to uh, to make a tomorrow a special program to answer those who they are from Indonesia. Someone of you said to me, some Indonesian they are trying to teach Christians that the Trinity is not exist in the Bible is not true. So we will see. There is a little problem with my audio. Okay. Is it better now? And please refrain from like uh, using uh, insulting words for no reason. At least if somebody says something stupid, say to him, this is stupid. But don't keep saying, Abdul, don't care, Abdul, don't care. But, you know, just... If somebody is a donkey, it's a different story. Ali Muhammadan, why in the world you fabricate lies to make your book scientific? Who we should believe? The man you call him a prophet, his name is Muhammad, who said it clearly how Allah he created the earth and the heaven, or your articles. Do you think atheism can fight Islam? And what is the benefit of atheism? Atheism is other copy of Islam actually. One, he want to convince you that you used to be a human and Allah make you a monkey. The other one, he want to convince you that you used to be a monkey, became a human. Both are stupid, arrogant, and both they promote violence. So don't think atheism is better. You are mistaken. Atheism is very dangerous. Believe too. They believe in violence. Don't you see what they do in America? Go and see Antifa. You don't agree with them, they burn your cars. They are the same. Intolerance, violent. They want to force their own belief on you. And if you don't agree with them, you are an apostate and you deserve to die. They are exactly the same as the Fatih Muhammad. Now, who is a Muslim? would like to call us and tell us why they lie saying the Big Bang is in the Quran. Anyone? Any Mohammedan? Okay, let us go to the second claim then. As long the first one did not function. 
for Muslims. It's not working good. So obviously they cannot debate this because it's so clear that they lie when they say the Big Bang and the Quran. The expansion of the universe was some, oh hold on, before, before I go, I forgot, I forgot something. In the same verse, chapter 21, verse number 31, it says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حي. Okay, hold on. What you did? And we made it from the water every living thing. The Muslims, they have video about that too. Amazing brother. How Allah, 1400 years ago, he noticed that in the desert, without water you cannot live. I mean, you see the miracle here? According to Muslims, this is a miracle. We made every living thing of water. So a person who lives in the desert, he noticed, which nobody can notice because you have to be super genius, that if you are not having water, you will die. And this is nobody that, this is no one knows this 1400 years ago. It's a miracle. But look what the Quran he just did. Allah he just proved to us that he is not God and Muhammad is the author of the Quran and he's a fool because he just said we have made every living thing of water. Uh, well isn't it the Quran says that the genie are made of a fire and they are living thing? Isn't it Muhammad he says that Allah created the angels of light and they are living things? And both of them, by the way, they live in the earth. The genie, Muhammad, he says we have a companion. Shaitan and an angel. So they are accompanying us all our life. Isn't it this is a Quran? Says that we created the genie from fire? So how everything, living thing, is made from water? Any Muhammadan? Which one is correct? Every living thing is made of water or genie is made from fire? Any Muhammadan? Hello? Isn't it the Quran says, if this is book from other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction? Which means your Quran put the standard to discover if this is a book from God or not. Hmm? Your book said that. Chapter 4, verse number 82. Are you accepting the standard which Allah put for you, or you don't know? Maybe this is the Eve Quran. Any Muslim? Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. Abbas, he's saying, look, look what Abbas, he said. Fire contain element of water. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a brother.
us on calling. Hello? Hey, brother. Hey, Sam. How are you, my friend? It's God. Sorry, brother. I just, uh, I, I was napping. Yeah, well, I am live on air. I don't know if you, uh, uh, actually, yeah. uh, I was, I was, uh, uh, if you like to join us, uh, right now I'm talking about the scientific uh, miracles of the Quran, which is very funny. But if you like uh, to uh, to make a uh, program a special t tomorrow for the Indonesian people, so we can answer those who claim that uh, Jesus is there's no Trinity in, in Christianity. You know they are Unitarian, and uh, uh, Indonesian people are requesting this topic. Okay, whenever you want. You want to do it tomorrow? That's up to you. Actually, if you want. Uh, yeah, we can do it tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, uh, I don't know, you, you tell me what time is good for you. You can text me and we can uh, yeah. schedule it and we can announce it here and people, they can join us. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm open anytime you want tomorrow. You let me know. And All right. Set it up. Okay, let us say uh, tomorrow by 10 a.m. in the morning in Eastern time. Is that good for you? Yeah, that's good. I'll be ready. All right, I will make the title and I will post the link for people to know. So guys, tomorrow, uh, our brother Sam Shamu will be with us. And the topic is answering the Unitarian who say Trinity is wrong. All right, and let us make it clear. If you are a person who don't believe in the Trinity, you are no Christian. You are a follower of a cult, as simple as that. You've been warned, you know, as simple as that. So then, God willing, I will join you tomorrow, brother. I'll just come listen on your YouTube channel. All right. Take, tomorrow we'll all right. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. 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 Yeah. So tomorrow, 10 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time, which is New York time, we will be together. So, when Abbas, he says that fire have the element of water, not only he showed us that he is a fool, he did not even read the verse we are talking about, because it's not only the Quran saying that he is created from fire, it's a fire without smoke. That's mean there's no any water in it. And it's a special kind of fire. Smokeless. Nothing burn. It's a fire burning, but no, nothing is coming out of this fire. You can go and open the interpretation and you will see this what it says. And if you burn anything, and by the way, the fire itself is not with the water, you idiot. You can burn material, have water like wood. But when you create from the fire, there is no water no more. Eh, what you can say? A bus driving now. What about the angels? The angels are created from light. Hey, Abbas, is the angels are is the light made of water too? <laughs> oh boy, brother, is the angels created from water or from light? Huh? Light must be water too. Let us go and see some hadith so we can love together. Is that your prophet saying that Allah, he created the angels from light? And he created the genie from smokeless flame of fire? Or your prophet was a fool?
and this is Sahih Hadith. Any Muhammadan? Notice how, how the Muslim right away they try to change the topic. And uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, Slyer. Why you don't call us and ask your question? Actually, you have a very interesting question, and I find it weird that you have a, I mean, obviously you are a genius. Slyer saying, show us Christians the criteria why Jesus is God. You tell me why he's not. In your religion, the only one who have no sin is Jesus. You tell me why only one person have no sin. Where is his comment? Here we go. Why? Muhammad is a sinner. Even angels commit sin in Islam. Adam is a sinner and you call him a prophet. Everybody is a sinner except one person. His name is the Messiah. How? Isn't it your prophet? He says, Adam Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Huh? Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Is Jesus son of an Adam? We got your prophet. Busted. Because that is the only reason we can explain then why Jesus have no father as a man. Because every son of an Adam, he is a sinner. And guess what? By saying such a statement, your prophet, he got himself busted again. He is a fool. Anyone notice what happened by saying such a statement? That every son of an Adam he is a sinner? Anyone notice? Who notice? Let's see how a few is thinking deeply. Anyone notice? We are not cursing you. You are cursing yourself. We never curse people. You're a prophet, he says, the one who is proud about his inheritance, tell him to go and buy the penis of his father. So don't play for us that you are the decent man who follow a decent prophet. You follow a person who saw the people in the street, go and buy the penis of your father. If you don't believe me, challenge me and call me and I will make you read it, live on air. Anyone notice what Muhammad he said here? When Muhammad he says every son of an Adam is a sinner, that's mean that the Muslim they lie to us and Muhammad is a big fat liar when he say he don't agree with the original sin. Correct? How you say there is no original sin, the Christians are stupid, we don't believe in this garbage, blah, 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 and then you say every son of an Adam is a sinner. Every son of an Adam is a sinner. This is why we say stupidity is amazing. And guess what? Until now, we are alive for how long? How long? Not a single Muslim text me. We have 900 people watching. Not a single Mohammedan there to say, I'm going to call you. After we finish, you will see the heroes in the chat, in the text, in the comment section. Not even one there. With the long beard, with the small beard, we know we don't know who's going to call, right? Get us the best of you. I'm here for you. Where are you? How your prophets say every son of an Adam? Is that why Jesus is not the son of an Adam? And if we ask the Muslims, who is the father of Jesus? What they will say? 
Let us look for the comment. Muslims, who is the father of Jesus? Any Muhammadan? Call Zach and Ayak. You know, the, the problem with Zach and Ayak, each time I call him, he is doing something that have to do with Dahman Dahman. You know, you know what Dahman Dahman mean, right? And this guy, I never called him, and he is not busy doing, you know, Dahman Dahman. Non-stop. He's very healthy, you can tell. Hmm? What if I call Zach and I, what he will say to us? I don't know what he will say. Did you see the Muslim making a video saying Christian Prince, he is calling, he's not calling Zach and I, this is fake? I mean, can you believe how dummy the one who is making those videos? Christian Prince, he is lying to you. He is not calling Zachar Naik. This is not the true Zachar Naik. What? Hmm. Nobody is answering. I will try to call the other phone. The one he have in the... Uh, the wife section, the six years old wife section. Christian Prince, I don't know call me. You know, how in the world you know it's me? I can't believe it. And I mean, Zachary, you are so smart. It's unbelievable. How you know, man? Do, uh, are you a hacker or something? How you can find that it's me? Christian Prince, I told you, Allah inspired us. I am inspired the same as the Prophet Muhammad, who told us that women have a sperm coming from the ribs. Uh, sperm coming from the ribs? Exactly. And uh, supposed to you're a doctor. Exactly. And there's any proof of that? Exactly. Uh, uh, hold on. I just said, if there's any proof of that? Exactly. Okay, Zakir, hold on. Don't. I think your CD is stuck. If there is any proof that women have a sperm coming from their breast, from their ribs? Exactly! What's wrong with you, man? Okay, let me give you the question again. If there is any proof that women, they have sperm coming from their breast? Exactly! And you are stupid! Where is the answer? I told you exactly! And you are deaf and you didn't hear me! No, I heard you keep saying exactly, but what does this have to do with the question? I will agree with you. Ah? Uh -huh. But I am not asking you to agree or not. I'm asking you if there is any proof of it. And I said to you, exactly. Wh what? Christian Prince, one of the reasons I don't speak to you, because first you are ignorant, and your English is funny. Number two, you don't know how to read Arabic. Number three, I debate only Hindu. Uh, what? Only Hindu. Okay, I'm going to kiss the black stone that make me Hindu. Christian Prince, Hindu don't kiss the black stone. You are ignorant, they just go around it. But you do go around it too. We go around it, exactly. So are you Hindu? No, we're Hindu. So why you go around it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because it's holy. Why the stone is holy? Because the, the Prophet kissed it. And why? Okay. And why the Prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the Prophet kiss it. Christian Prince, you are stupid. The Big Bang and science and women have a sperm coming from their ribs. Are you crazy, Zach and I? Christian Prince, first of all, you are very rude. And you are the perfect, the perfect, the full. And this is why I can't talk to you. Uh, you call us kuffar, you call us dirty, nudges, filthy, infidels. Uh, we are the wood of the fire, the, the, the wood of the fire. All of this is not insult. So if I just say to you, Muhammad is a false prophet, you get offended. Third of all, it's not allowed to say Prophet Muhammad is a false prophet because it is haram. If it is haram for you, not for me. It's haram for everybody. And I will prove it with you. Okay, prove it to me. If you live in Afghanistan and you say Prophet Muhammad is a fool, what will happen to you? Uh, I guess they will kill me. Exactly. And it proved to you that you are stupid. And it means it's haram. 
Oh, hello. Okay, we go back to the topic. How in the world your God he come with such a scientific thing? And you're a doctor. That women, they have sperm coming from their ribs. And men, they have sperm coming from their, ba the, from their ba backbone. Good to print. There's a very well-known song. It's called Backbone, Backbone. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when I come for you? Have you heard of it? Um, I guess I heard, but that was like bad boys, bad boys, right? The fact it's backbone. And this is because Allah, he warned us about the backbone. That Allah will go after our backbone and he will not make us have kids. Because this is where the sperm is coming from. Hey, 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 hold on. So Allah is going to target our backbone and then we will not have kids. Exactly. Is that why the Prophet Muhammad, he don't have kids? Give me I don't get you interested. Did you just say Prophet Muhammad? Uh, yeah. See? You become a Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Everybody heard you. You just say the Prophet Muhammad. The debate is over. And you get butted. And bye-bye. I'm not going to debate you anymore. You just say Prophet Muhammad. Hey, wait, wait, hold on. I was just being sarcastic. I don't mean it. I don't care. You mean you don't mean it? You are saying Prophet Muhammad. Who cares if you mean it? In Islam, we don't care if you mean it. In Islam, we care for the unit. Okay. Is that why in the Quran, the Arab, they say we believe, and Muhammad, he said to them, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims? Exactly. So you don't need to be a believer to be a Muslim. Just say Shahada, and you are considered as a Muslim. Exactly. And that explains why most of Muslims are not Muslim. Exactly. Uh, are you a Muslim? Exactly. Are you not a Muslim? Exactly. Oh, okay. I think, uh, okay, uh, Zakir, I'm, I'm sorry I, I disturb you. And uh, now, like, we discover a lot of things uh, within the inspiration of Allah uh, uh, using you. Uh, do Allah speak to you from time to time? Christian Prince, Allah is almighty, all powerful. However, Allah don't speak to E and he don't speak to Prophet Muhammad. Uh -huh. So how Muhammad he received the Quran? Allah, he sent him an angel, his name is Zibril. His name is what? Zibril. Zib what? Oh, okay. So, Muhammad did not speak to his God. And Allah, he sent him Jibreel. Can you show me where Jibreel, he said to Muhammad, I am Jibreel? When he came to him first time? Good friends. The Bill is very famous. It's like Sylvester Salon when he come to your tent, you know, your street. Do we need today to say I am Sylvester Salon? But we do not know how Jibreel looked like. We know how Sylvester Salon look like. So how come Jibreel did not say to Muhammad, I am Jibreel? Instead of he was squeezing him, squeezing him and he was looking like a man. So how Muhammad he knew this is Jibreel? I told you, he is very famous. In his time, he is super star. Actually, all the girls, they have the picture of the Bril in the bedroom. Uh -huh. Including who? Including Aisha. Okay, Zaka, I'm so glad to have you. Uh, maybe one day we can drink together. I drink my coffee, I drink my urine, and may Allah bless you. All right? First of all, don't tell me may Allah bless you, because Allah bless me already. Uh, but in the Quran, it says, Allah, he said to Muhammad, may Allah forgive you, Muhammad. Why he saying me? How come when it's come to Muhammad, he saying me? Very simple. Because the Prophet Muhammad was a continual person who do sin. He is a continual machine of sinning. It's, it's spinning or it's, it's sinning? Sinning. You are stupid. In the English, it's funny. So Allah, he said to Muhammad, may Allah forgive you? Exactly. So why? Allah is not sure if he will forgive him or not? Exactly. So do you think Muhammad is forgiven? Exactly. Because I can, uh, I think, uh, I don't know, I think we should change the topic and talk about the origin of the word exactly. So what exactly you want to say to us? Christian Prince, I warn you, if you don't become a Muslim, Allah will unleash his dog on you. Yeah, I heard that, that Allah, he have a dog. He sent it against those who don't believe in him. 
So why the dog of Allah did not bite al qurmati who destroyed the Kaaba? Furthermore, at that time the dog of Allah was taken back theme because that is what rabies. The what? Rabies, rabies. And the goat dog of Allah he got rabies. Hmm. Okay, Zakir. Nice talking to you, buddy. First of all, don't call me buddy. I'm Dr. Zakir Naik. So respect, so I can respect you for a second. If you love. Beep. Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan, he dare to say that anything I said is not true. Anything. Hmm? Have you ever heard of a God? Say to his prophet that Allah may forgive thee for his sin. Look, look at the corruption of the translation. If you ask any Muslim what the word sin in Islam, they say then. Then. Huh? Then baka. How the word then became fault. If you have faults, do not need to be forgiven for them. Those are not sin. Change the translator just to show you the corruption of this cult. We just to change the translation, suddenly the fault disappear and the word sin appear. That Allah may forgive thee for the sin that which in past and the one to come. How come Muhammad his sin? Maybe they will be forgiven, but Jesus never have sin. So the foolish person who said, What is the reason to believe that Jesus is God? Number one reason, Jesus have no sin. Even the Quran says, Allah will give Mary a holy son. Quran chapter 19, verse number 19. Is he holy or he is not? Your prophet is not a holy, as you see. Jesus is holy. When the Muslim, by the way, they call their prophet holy prophet, that's against Islam. Nowhere Islam says Muhammad is holy. And nowhere Muhammad, he call himself holy. That is a big fat lie. Never exist. This is Quran, chapter 19, verse number 19. The Spirit of God came to Mary, and he said to her, To thee, to announce to thee, the gift of a holy son. Do you see it? So when you say to me how Jesus can be God, answer yourself first. How Jesus can be holy, and he is just a man. Where Jesus, he earned his holiness from? Any Muslim can tell us? Any Muhammadan? In the judgment day, according to Muhammad, everyone will go to the one who belong to, who follow. So the Jews will go to Musa, the Christian will go to Jesus, etc. And you will notice in the hadith that all the hadith speak that every single person he have a sin except Jesus. Now we can show the hate right now. Uh, Sly are saying, CP, wear niqab. Okay, hold on. If wearing niqab is a problem for you, and I never do that because this is something for you, Muslim, not for us. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he wear hijab? So you are trying to insult me saying I am a female supposedly? But your God, Allah himself, he wear hijab. And this is your Quran, chapter 42, verse number 51. This is why they don't dare to call me, because anything they will say to me, I will get them busted. Anything, anything, just say anything. Be silly as much as you want. 
I will give five fingers in the bum of your prophet, not your bum, because your bum is overused. CP Warnikab, it's your God, here we go. Your God, he never speak to any person except from behind the hijab. And by the way, your friend Mimi, his last name is Niqab, hijab. That is an insult. In the Middle East, they call people of hijab. That means they are all of them bunch of women. Is that true? That your God Allah is wearing hijab too? If you don't like the translation, we can change it. Actually, this translation is not good. We can go to different translation, no problem. We are here to help you, my friend. Hmm? Okay, different translation. Let us see. It is not given to any human being that Allah should speak to him unless it be by inspiration or from behind the veil. Okay, just to show you another smart Muslim. Guys, just to show you another smart Muslim. Abbas, he is busy with the pizza and he was thinking carefully. He said, Mr. Genius, the word Zaki, which means pure, you stupid, isn't pure mean holy, you donkey? Pure of what? I mean, can you believe it? How those people are stupid? Supposedly now he is refuting me and he sat in his bum for five, ten minutes thinking about how to give me an answer. And he said to us, as you see, Jesus is a pure, he is not holy. <laughs> he's not bastard you see you see how stupid you are you see how stupid you are your prophet he just said every son of an as adam is a sinner and we show you the hadith and this is mean that he is not a pastor Coward son of Muta, you are Abbas. You are insulting our Lord, right? Pure, he is not yet there, but yet he is pure. He is not in this earth, he is pure. Where he was. The Quran says, the Quran says that we send down al qaha he throw down his word to Mary. Jesus is from above, and that's why he is pure. If you are a child of marriage, does not make you pure? or not you know what pure aren't you human like everybody if we ask Abbas is it true that shaitan he could not touch Jesus Abbas did shaitan was able to touch Jesus like everybody else or only Jesus and Mary they could not he could not he's pure According to the Muhammadan, sin of a person start with shaitan touching him. Sin touching him. Jesus was not affected by Satan, protected. And I changed this Abusi to say this is not true. Anyone will flood the text and block I'm going to block you. So please don't you know don't need to say Abbas, you are a coward, etc. Come on. Don't flood the chat. Is it true that Shaitan he touched every human being except Mary and Jesus? Yes or no? If no, be a man and challenge me. Is Jesus different?
Anyone? Let us see what the Quran say about Jesus. And then in a second you will see the disability. Okay, here we go, guys. Abbas, he squeezed his bum, and he come with the answer. In the hadith, it says, Shaitan, he could not do that, not only to Jesus, it was to Mary. You idiot. Why Mary? Because of Jesus. Who is more important in the story? Mary or Jesus? <laughs> because Jesus is holy, Mary was protected. And you just admitted that only the mother of Jesus, why? And only Jesus, why? But the mother of Muhammad, she will go to hell. The father of Muhammad, they will go to hell. Muhammad himself was touched by shaitan because only two of all those who they are exist in this earth. They have the form of a human. From all of them is only two person, and you admit it. Why? I will tell you why. And then everybody will start laughing at you and at your cult. You see, Muhammad was a very full person and he gave us a very clear answers when it's come to Jesus, that Muhammad is a liar. Read carefully. This is a verse in the Quran translated by Muslims. I have nothing to do with it, as you see in the screen. Chapter four, verse 171. All people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say aught but the truth. Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, is the son of who? Mary. But isn't it the Quran says, call them by the name of their fathers? The Quran forbid Muslims from calling somebody by the name of his mother or adoption. You have to call him by the name of his father. Here, they cannot call him Jesus by the name of his father. Because they don't know who is their father, right? His father is God. Look what it says. That Jesus was a messenger of Allah. And he is his word. What? Let us take a note, one by one, and laugh together. Jesus is the word of God. Which he bestowed on Mary. So the word is coming from where? From above. He bestowed on Mary. Jesus is the word coming from heaven and spirit proceeding from him. From him who? God. That's it. We got the answer. In the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God. The coward Muhammad copying John chapter 1 verse number 1 and John 1 verse number 14. And the word became a man. It's in the front of you. He is the only one who the Quran and the Hadith confirm his name is do you know, guys, what the name of Jesus in the, Quran, in the according to Muslims, additional name? Ruhullah wa kalimatahu. What? The Spirit of Allah and His Word. This is a name given to Jesus and only to Jesus in the cult of Islam. And I changed the name of Muslim to say it's not true. Ruhullah wa kalimatahu. The Spirit of Allah and His Word. Okay? Well, Adam, if Adam is the word of Allah, uh, you are the word of Allah, I am the word of Allah, then Jesus should not be given that such a name. That because it's not a unique. That name will be given only for someone. He is not, he, this is something special about him. Any Muslim have a comment?
Anyone? If we go in the Quran, or sorry, in the Hadith, let us see in the Hadith. First, uh, do a little uh, spanking from the Hadith. Let us see. <clears throat> uh, this website is garbage. It's very uh, hold on. Oh, we have somebody. Oh, we have Abbas is calling. That's a miraculous thing. Hey, Abbas, how are you? Hello. Yes, Abbas, go ahead. To you, uh, can you hear me? I just called you to correct you and educate you on a small point because uh, many people ask the same question, like you just asked the why Satan didn't touch Jesus and his mother Mary. Why do you know the answer is the Quran? Okay, the answer in the Quran says what? Chapter 3, verse 36. Okay, I'll read it. All right, it says this. But when she delivered her, <laughs> the mother of Mary, when she gave her birth to Mary, okay, she said. My Lord, I have delivered a female, hmm. and Allah was most knowing of what she delivered, hmm. and the male is not like the female. Okay. And I have named her Mary, okay. and I seek <laughs> refuge for her in you and for her descendants from Satan, okay. the expel. Okay. So it was the prayer of right. the mother of Mary hmm. that Allah save her and her descendants hmm. from Satan. Okay. So Allah respected her, her hmm. prayer. Okay. This is the reason why Mary and Jesus was not touched by Satan. Okay. Not any other reason. No so problem. I respected your prayer. Okay. That's that, what it is. Okay, that's wonderful. Guys, listen carefully. Mary, she asked Allah to protect her and her descendant from... No, no, wrong again. Please, no. pay attention. It's not Mary. Uh, the, the, mother. The, the mother of Mary. The mother of Mary. Mary's mother, Sorry. Yeah. she gave birth to Mary, not okay, Mary. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But why the mother of Mary is speaking to Allah? And how the mother of Mary, her name became the wife of Amran. You first, so you, just, you just admitted, that's, that's, you just admitted, you just admitted, you just admitted, you just admitted that Allah spoke to a woman, her name, her name is the wife of Amran, which is the wrong name, because this is the name of the father of Mary. Secondly, Allah, he accepts to speak to a woman, he don't speak to Muhammad. Number, number three, she asked him to protect her and her descendant, or Mary and her descendant, and Allah he accept, correct? Yes. Okay. No, no, it's not. not okay. Correct. So mistakes. I will go with you. I will, I will go with you. I will go with you. Hold on. So let me correct your mistakes first. What mistake? Let me correct your mistakes. Where does it say that Allah spoke to her? Who? Huh? She's praying to Allah. Where does it say Allah spoke to her? Okay. So is it is, is it Allah saying Fataqabala Allah? Okay. No, no, no. Allah he accepted her. All right. Is it Allah? Yes. Wait, Okay, so okay, so when when you pray to Allah and Allah He respond to you by yes, is that talking to you or not? He respond by yes or no? No, of course he's not talking to me. I can't hear him. He oh, you can't hear him. Okay, oh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did Allah has did Allah spoke? Did Allah okay? Did, he can us. did Allah? He doesn't say Allah spoke to her. Okay, hold on. Did, did Allah spoke to the father of okay, Mary? Did Allah speak to the father of Mary? Did Allah speak to the father of Mary, Imran? Hmm. Um, well, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. You know what? I don't want to change the topic for a second. Let us fin finish this. So everybody heard you saying that because she prayed to Allah, Allah, he protected her and her descendant, which means the, the protected Mary and the, the child of this woman who was praying to Allah and her descendant, correct? That's mean. That yeah, Mary, okay, okay hold on. That's mean. That's mean. That Mary, she is a pure, correct? Mary is pure. Well, she's not touched by Satan. Yes, according to that, yes. Okay. Least, yes. So Mary is a pure. But and, don't hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the word? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let us see who is finished now. Mary is pure. Jesus is a pure. What? Pure mean. Uh, you are you doing that again? Don't 
Thing. I am not. I am not. I am not. You are the one who said. You are the one who said the word pure. And I'm asking you, what the word pure mean? But you know, pure is so many people in pure in the Quran. Many. No. Even that boy. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, okay, did your prophet say every son of an Adam is a sinner? Yes. Okay, so that, they are not the pure. Every son of an Adam. That's mean Maryam herself is, is not the pure, based on your prophet saying. No, 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 no. You, you're conflating two different things. Pure, in what sense? Pure doesn't mean you are not a sinner. So what make what you pure? Talking? Guys, it doesn't make us. So if sinner? you are not a sinner, what so what make you pure then? What? If you are a sinner, so how you can call me pure? He born, he born as a pure boy because he was not a bastard. Okay, hold on. Okay, so he was born as a pure. But, and, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. So Jesus was born as a pure, but isn't it every child based on what you are saying is born as a pure anyway? Absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely. but you just said that Allah He made something special to Mary because she prayed that to Mary mother she prayed to Him to protect her her her, her child and the descendant of that child. Correct. Right. Which means this that, is not something. something that means it's not something will happen to everybody. No, but that's two different things. No, no, it's not a different thing. A second ago, you say every child is born pure. That means it's happened to everybody. And then we become sinners. So we do not need. So what the point of this? So what the point of this prayer? Shut up. So what this point of this prayer? To say, please protect me, protect my child and her and, and her children after, if they will be pure anyway by birth. If there's no specialty, if there's nothing, nothing special. I'll answer you. Huh? What happened when, what happened when she said, uh, protect my daughter, my child, and her descendants, meaning do not let Satan overcome them. Ever. Okay, thank you, guys. Th okay, 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 guys. Jesus did, did, and Mary, did you hear? Jesus and Mary lived a very good life, okay. and Allah protected them. Okay, guys, so we just heard... On hand, one by, one hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 one, one by one, one, one by one, one, one by one, Abbas, one by one. So, Jesus, Jesus and Mary was protected... Hold on, hold on, Abbas. Abbas, Abbas, please. Jesus and Mary, guys, Abbas said, were protected from shaitan, and they have a good life. So, shaitan never overcome them. Abbas said that, which means shaitan never made Mary, neither Jesus, commit sin. Do you agree? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Did your prophet commit sin? Yeah, according to Quran, yes, he did, yes. Okay. So, guys, Jesus never commit sin, Abbas said. Muhammad commit sin, Abbas said. And now you are saying to me that everyone is born as a pure, but now you just said that Jesus not only born as a pure, but he continued pure. Muhammad did not continue pure. Can you explain to us why Jesus never commits sin, but Muhammad commits sin? The mic is yours. Yeah, I know mic is not. Go. Because when I answered, I answered both questions, you said deal one with first. But what you did, in your answer, you, you conflate both again. That's why I wanted to answer the second one as well. When Allah says Jesus is a pure boy, born pure, Allah was basically just refuting what Jews were going to say, and the Quran, when he came, Jews still believe, even to this day, he born out of wedlock. He is now. First of all, Abbas, for Abbas, 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 that's a stupid statement. So if now something happened to me, you say to me, I will give you a son, he is a pure, and later the, the people will accuse me in the street that I committed fornication. You say that to the people, not to me. This is number one stupid thing you said. Now, I will repeat the question again. You just said, everybody heard you. That G oh, shut, up, shut up. I will repeat the question because Muslims, they always avoid answering. Why Muhammad did not continue pure if everybody is born as a pure, but you admitted that Muhammad is a sinner and he needs forgiveness. But Jesus never commits sin. How come Jesus never commits sin according to you? And Muhammad commits sin according to you. The mic is yours. Allah give me patience to talk to you because you're trying 
confused people. You can't, you can never confuse me. The answer, please. The answer, please. No, not because you're confusing a lot of things here. The answer, I want the answer. You are avoiding the hot topic because we are talking about Jesus, if he's God or not. <clears throat> so, as long as you admit it, that Muhammad commits sin, but Jesus never commits sin. Tell us why. No, no, I, I'm going to answer that as well, inshallah. Hmm. But first I'm going to answer you. You say, why Allah doesn't tell Jews? No, 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 no. Answer from here. Answer from here. Answer from the important one. Answer the important one, and then they go to the second one. Why Jesus no, never no. commits sin? No, 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 no. You why say, you Jesus... No, you answer both, no problem. But why Jesus never commits sin? This is the important for me. Why Jesus never commits sin, but Muhammad, he did. Go ahead. Now, first of all, I already answered you why Jesus didn't commit sin, because it was a prayer of his grandmother. Uh -huh. Neither does many. Uh, guys, because of the prayer of his grandmother, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, if you're a grandmother, she pray, and then Allah, and, and this prayer happened only to Jesus. But you just said to us, you idiot, in the beginning, that this is, everyone is born pure, and this has happened, there's many people in the Quran, you said that to us, you said in the Quran, there's many people, they are born pure, and the Quran speak about them. But you just said, only Jesus and his mother. That is very stupid of you. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you are foolish or you're pretending to be foolish here. There's two different things here. Don't please talk about Maybe foolish. A person, who, a person who believed that God will make his penis endless, he cannot speak about smart and foolish. And now you are going to answer us, saying, and you are answering us as saying, because a woman she prayed that her grandson will be pure, so Allah keep him pure all his life. But isn't that make him equal to God? I really hope sometimes when you born, your grandmother also pray about you. Like, okay. Okay. When Jesus, when Jesus, 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 when Jesus never commits sin, and your prophet says every son of an Adam is a sinner, did your prophet lie? I'm a Muslim and I have answered all these your foolish questions, but you're not letting me speak. Please let me speak. No, I'm, I'm putting you. You are, you are trying. You are, you are trying. You are trying to avoid the question. All right. You are, you are, you are, you are trying your best to get away. Your prophet says every son of an Adam like is a sinner. Mr. Genius, you're not letting me speak. Hmm. Are One question at a time. Okay. Are you sure? First answer. Hmm. Yeah. First answer. Why Allah didn't tell Jews at that time? The Quran answers in the Quran. Hmm. When Mary came to her people, hmm. she says, "Go speak to him," and he spake from the cradle, hmm. and he answered that, "I am a prophet of God." So hmm. the Jews were already knew that. Hmm. You you didn't put in your Bible, but Allah says he, they were already told. Hmm. But in the time of Islam, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, hmm. Allah repeated that he was a pure boy. Pure has nothing to do with sin, let's say. Meaning he didn't born out of wedlock. He was not bastard like Jews still believe. That's why he's saying he's a pure boy. Okay, and but, but then but then you the but then but then the stupid you the stupid you forget the stupid you forgot that you just say that Jesus continued all his life a pure, not only when he was born. Did you say that? Sinless. Sinless. Sinless, thank you. Sinless. Is it sinless meaning pure? So guys, Jesus no. all his life was sinless. Zero no, sin. No, always. No, pure and sinless, not always same, meaning the same thing as well. It can, it can be both. Like you could be uh, uh, a sinner, but you are pure in some other thing. No, 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 no. You say it, you say it, you say it, you say it. Okay, listen, Abdul, uh, listen, Abbas. You said he is sinless. Don't change it. Uh, you said that, correct? You said sinless. We do not find anywhere in Islamic teachings that Jesus ever commits sin. But in the Bible, he does sin again and again. And I can prove that. In the Bible, he commits sin? No problem. You can quote for me verse from the Bible and we will laugh. At the same time, in the Quran, the Hadith is confirmed that Jesus is sinless. And you just agreed with that. And that will level him upon all mankind. Because your prophet says, every son of an Adam is a sinner. And the best of the sinners is the one who asks for he repent and he forgive, uh, ask for forgiveness. So this is why Jesus, he do not need to ask God for forgiveness because he never commits sin, correct? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Fair enough, we can go with that. Okay. No, so problem. guys, we can go with that. guys Jesus do not need the forgiveness. Point. Okay. Jesus do not need forgiveness. Muhammad, he need forgiveness. So how you Muslim, you say no. that Jesus is just a prophet like every man. Well, Adam is a prophet. Adam is a prophet. He commits sin. 
Ibrahim is a prophet, he commits sin. David is a prophet, he commits sin. Muhammad is a false prophet, he commits sin. Jesus is a prophet, he never commits sin. What is the purpose? Okay, so as I already answered, look, hmm. if you're saying somebody who doesn't commit sin has to be angel or God, then you're wrong. Hmm. Allah's prophet, he created a prophet who Allah protected it because of his grandmother's prayer and his mother as well. Not only Jesus, his mother as well. Secondly, hmm. if somebody commits sin and after asks Allah repentance and does greater deeds than the person who never commits sin, you can still overtake that person. And that's why we believe the work of Muhammad is much greater than Jesus could ever do. Jesus lived up to the age of 33. Muhammad he has done many, many great things. He, he joined nations in his time. He, he he repented to God. He raised to the level which Jesus can never ever raise to that level. Like what? So, like what? Like what? He went to his own son wife house and he flirted with the wife? Is that the, the level of Muhammad? Uh, Answer that. Why are you running away from the thing? No, we are not. We are not. You are saying Muhammad. You are saying Muhammad. He went up to the level of God. How he, you know, he made many great things. I'm, I'm just counting for you the great things. He married a child. She is six years old. He went to his own son when the wife is alone. He saw her wearing sexy clothes and he flirted with the wife when she is married in the house of his own son. He is a thief. He is a criminal. Even the Muslim accuse him of stealing an underwear. So he is a great man. And you are saying to us, yes, that he is greater than Jesus. Now let us go with you. You say, hold on, hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said, you said, show me your ignorance, saying every every child is born pure. Is that correct? Every in Islam, every child born sinless. So why why a child? So why a child? So why a child? According so why a child? Hold on. So why a child, according to your prophet, he might go to hell? Child might go to hell. Yeah. How, how old child is talking about here? You tell me, I don't because know. Because if you are seven, if you are seven or eight or maybe nine or ten or eleven and you are a child, you might commit sin. Ah, uh -huh. what if you are an infant, do you go to hell? Okay. okay, did he say, of course, guys? Okay, read this, okay, read this hadith for me. Okay, read this hadith and let us laugh together. And everybody will, will laugh at you. The hadith says... Are you sure everybody will laugh? Sure, he will go. Because you said, everybody heard you. Everybody heard you saying that every child is born pure. He's an infant, right? He is a child. He's a baby. So, and you said, if a person is nine years old, he commits sin. That's it. He's a sinner now. Okay. So now we are talking about a, a person. He did not reach the age of sin. Read carefully with me. Aisha, she said... God messenger was invited to a funeral of a boy from uh, belonged to Al Ansar. I said, "O oh, messenger of, of Allah, this one blessed, he is the one of the young ones in paradise, for he has done no evil, being too young to do it for that." He replied, "It might be the otherwise, Aisha." <laughs> but you just said, "For sure, if you don't commit sin, you will go to heaven." But you're a prophet saying it might be the otherwise. Aisha, she is assuming that because he's an infant, he is a little boy, he never commits sin, he never reached the age of sin, he will go to heaven. He will be a bird in the paradise. Muhammad, you say, don't be foolish. It might be the otherwise. You're mine. Mike is mine. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, I will change the topic, but it's okay. I'll go with No, we are not. We are still speaking about the pure boy, the pure child, the one what the pure mean. You are contradicting yourself, showing us the, the ignorance and the stupidity of your prophet. Islam is a collection of ideas, and you Muslim, you cannot put them together. You said that everyone is born. You just said a second ago, if a child is a, is a very young, he go to heaven. You said, of course, he will go to heaven. You're a prophet, so you know you are lying. So which one of you is lying? Go ahead. I thought Mike was mine, but you start talking. Yeah, because you keep complaining. Huh? I don't, why you always get nervous? Right? I, get, I get nervous, brother. I get nervous. I get nervous very much. I get nervous. Okay. Inshallah. Okay, go ahead. So, so why this infant will go to hell, Abbas? Go ahead. You, you told us a second ago, you will not. Mike is mine. Hmm, go ahead. Let me ask you. Right. Okay. Right. First of all, Muhammad uh, is not saying he's going to go to hell. He's, no. not, he's not saying that. No. Uh, secondly, you need to understand that the, the prophet. No, don't go by secondly. Don't go secondly. You see, you cannot do that with a Christian prince. When you say first of all, prove it. Ask the same question. Prove it. Yes, the answer. question. Yes, you cannot. You cannot. Topic. You, this is a Christian prince. Remember, I am the one who spank you every time you call me. You said, firstly, the prophet did not say he would go to hell. Prove it. He said it might be otherwise, you donkey.
Does it say that in the front of you? Those things you can do it, those things you can those things, Muslims, you can do it in different channel. Here a Christian prince. You say something, I stop you. Stop. Show me how that worked for you. You said the prophet did not say he will go to hell. Show me where he said that. The mic is yours. I think when you say spanking, you mean I will interrupt you. That's what you mean, spanking. The spanking no, is no, getting you busted, no, showing no. everybody that you are a liar. You are lying in front of us. You're a prophet, his word in front of us. And you coward, you dare to say the prophet did not say that. I mean, how corrupt your Muslims okay. are to the point you show corrupt me. your me. own. Show me in this hadith. Oh, hello. Show me in this hadith. He he's going to go ahead. Show me. It, say, it says, otherwise. it says, it may be the otherwise. Okay, what are the guys? There's the third option. Exactly. There is third, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Show me what it says. Uh, uh, he will go to hell. It says it might be otherwise. What is the second option? Okay, I'm going to answer you now. Let me speak, please. <laughs> Can I? Go ahead. Can I speak? It's there's a third option. Yes, 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 there's a third option. No, stay one, one, one by one. We can go to secondly and thirdly and fourthly, no problem. The first one. So he said it may be the otherwise. What is the second option? It can be the otherwise. Go ahead. If you don't let me answer, then I'll think you're afraid. Then I'll just put the phone down. You, you will put the phone down because you are a coward and you are a pizza boy. So I'm answer. Not, I'm not. I'm not a, what's wrong with the pizza boy? If the, I'm a pizza that's boy, mean, that, no, I'm not saying about the job. I'm saying you have nothing in your head except pizza. You thought you can refute no, me, and now you are trying to run away. Boy. You are trying to make an excuse. All what I am asking you for, all what I'm asking you for, don't hang up your car. Don't hang up. You said the prophet, he did not say he will go to hell. He said it might be the otherwise. I want you please to tell me what otherwise mean. Your English is better than mine. My English is funny and you are a genius. What he meant by saying it might be otherwise. Go ahead. I'm answering you and I want you to see the spiritual or wisdom side of this hadith. This hadith is full of wisdom what he said. Mm -hmm. He's saying, he's saying is what I said, that prophets came as the teachers and tried to teach you wisdom. And here, Aisha said he's going to paradise. Hmm. Allah, Prophet is only teaching her, don't play God. Please don't play God. You don't know what's going to happen to her, so don't play God. It, it could be otherwise. He's just telling uh, her and us, teaching us, that don't claim for people who's going to go paradise or not. Unless you're a prophet. Okay. Unless you're inspired. Okay, hold on. I will go with That's you. Everybody will see. Everybody. Everybody will see. Everybody will see in a second that you are a stupid fool and your wife, your wife, she will divorce you for sure. I can prophesy about that. It is you who say to me, for sure you will go to heaven. So you are playing God? Guys, is it him? When I say to him, if somebody is an infant, is he going to go to hell or to heaven? What he said, for sure he will be going to heaven. But now you are saying, you are a prophet teaching you wisdom, not to be stupid, not to be fool, because only God knows. So what you said to me a second ago, for sure he will go to heaven. Are you Aisha now? I cannot say that. No, you cannot answer me. You said, you said for sure. Did you say for sure he will go to heaven or you did not say that? Uh, who I said what to go heaven? Who? But the baby, I said to you, if the baby is an infant, is he going to go to heaven? You said for sure you'll go to heaven. It's That's recorded. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, I, and I'll answer you how, what it means. So I'll teach you something. But you just said, but you just said, Muhammad saying to Aisha, he's teaching us wisdom, saying to her, don't say that. Only God knows who is going to go to heaven. So are you God Abbas? You said to me five minutes ago that for sure the baby will go to heaven. So you were God five minutes ago, and now you came back to your mind, and you became a wise person suddenly, and you want to teach me what the prophet meant. Your prophet did not say that only God will know you are a stupid liar. He is saying it might be the otherwise, which means it might be going to hell. Because, because you eat it, he is showing you even the reasoning. Did you read the reasoning? You are illiterate like your prophet, aren't you? It says, because God created for paradise those who are fit for it, where they were yet in their father loins or backbone. And he created for hell those who fit for it, while they are in the backbone of their fathers. So you stupid liar, you do not know what the hadith is saying. You have a big mouth, you keep running like, like a person who has a flu. And this is why we are laughing. Did you see why he said because? Because of what? 
because he created you who will go to hell when you are a semen or a sperm. And he created you who will go to heaven when you are a semen. Not because Allah only knows you stupid idiot. Allah decide this is about destiny. Allah decide predestination before you are exist where you will go. So the child is born and he is a child baby, not necessarily will go to heaven because that is a predestiny, have nothing to do with him committing sin or not. It had to do when God he made him, he made a destiny for him where he will go. Are you against what I said or you agree? Is mic is mine or not? Yes, yes. Like sure go ahead. Can I, can I, uh, you can hang up if you want now because everybody is laughing. That's it. We got you busted so easy. I'm laughing at you actually. <laughs> okay, read the hadith until I say. Can I, can I, you say? Can I answer that? Yeah, you go say, ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go can ahead. I say you uh -huh. said I play God. Hmm. You know, you made a very good point because five minutes before I said Abbas saying to Christian Prince, you made a good point. Hold on. Let me let me let me go back and like Fitter, you made a good point, and I agree with you. In Quran, in Islam, there is no limit to the Prophet. And if it's there, he had a good point. Abbas is saying to Christian Prince, you have a good point. That means the spank was a huge. And he cannot deny how stupid he is by saying, of course, he will go to heaven. And now he's trying to make himself look nicer, not so fool, admitting that I was a fool. And now you get a point there, Christian Prince. No, I did not get a point. I got a spank. I get a spank for you. May I, may I, may I say something? You say something. So why you said? Why you said? Of course, he will go to heaven. If only Allah knows who will go to heaven. Are you Allah? When I say you made a good point, hmm. you mean deserve a good answer, and I'm going to give you that answer. Now it's time to tafsir to make tafsir for the word good point. So we'll change the topic now, and we will open the book of tafsir to explain what he meant by you made a good point. <laughs> Abbas. So let us make it simple again. Is the child going to go to hell or he might go to heaven? You said, of course, he will go to heaven. A second ago. He put me in hold. He's talking to somebody. Maybe Fifi Mimi calling him. Abbas, what are you doing? Abbas. Don't call this guy. He will make you a pizza, literally. You are turning red, Abbas. Abbas, are you there? You put me in hold this too. By the way, he's... Uh, Abbas? Scooby, Scooby Doo? Yes. You... Okay, so when, when you said to me what you said, do you agree? Do you agree that a child? Do, do you agree? Do you agree what your prophet said that a child? Hello. You what? Hello. You hear me? Come hello. On. What? Hello. Don't hang up. No. You will hang up. Hello. Come on, stop saying hello. hello. I hear you, my friend. I hear you. Okay, I hear you. All right, I was talking something to somebody calling me in the middle. Sorry about that. No problem. No so problem. I was answering you hmm. about why five minutes before I said, yes, children will go to paradise, no doubt. And why after I said, Muhammad said, don't say that. Yeah, no one knows, only Allah can say that. Hmm. And I can answer that question. Hmm. The answer is this. When I said that the children will definitely go to paradise, that's what Islam may believe is, I'm saying it in general. I'm not pointing out it's any particular person. Mm. I shared with Allah and I was talking about a particular child. Same way, like I cannot tell a particular person you are going, you are a coffin. It doesn't make a difference if the child if the child is an infant. Does it make doesn't make a difference? Hold on, hold on. You see again, Abbas, you can play those games with someone else, not with me. Does it make any difference if the child is someone in particular or anyone as long as he is just a baby infant? Yes, and Aisha was saying that, but Muhammad was teaching her to not say that. No problem. Her, don't play no problem. But you say it. You say it. You say it. No, no, no. But you, that, Abbas, you said that it doesn't say that the child will go to hell. Did you say that? Yeah, 
Okay. okay. Does the hadith say is no? You go to hell. Okay, hold on. Does the hadith say is clearly because God created for paradise those who fit for it while they were in the backbone of their fathers, and and He created for hell those who fit for hell when they are in the backbone of their father. So why you lie to me? Hang on a minute. Let me read this um, second part of the hadith. Mm. Because God created for paradise those who are fit for it. Mm. while they were yet in their father's loins mm. and created the hell those um, who are to go hell he created them that, that this part this part is uh, is very similar to what the book of psalms says that mm. they are wicked from the um, wombs of their mothers that's the book of psalms Abdul, Abdul. this is what well. the book of psalms saying suddenly he is an expert in the book of psalms but a second ago you know not what your prophet was saying and you claim that your prophet never say the child will go to hell does this hadith say but clearly not. shut up does this hadith say clearly that because Allah created for those who go to hell while they are semen in their back born of their father yes so before you were created and doesn't matter if you are a baby infant or not Allah already decide if you will go to hell or to heaven which means this infant will go to hell and this infant will go to heaven and Abbas you've been busted He's teaching Aisha Zalana two different things here. What, two, about what two different things? No, it is about one child. No, 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 no. Stupid liar. It is about infant child who never commits sin and he never reached the age of sin. He is explaining to her why it might be the otherwise. What different child? Yeah. Read carefully. No, read, ca read carefully. It says, read carefully. It says, there's a happiness for this child who is a bird from paradise, of, of, of paradise, for it commit no sin nor has reached the age when one commits sin so this is confirmed now that this is a baby child he don't commit sin muhammad did not say oh no 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 he commits sin no he agreed with her about the age he agreed that he did not reach a, a time to, to commit sin but he don't agree about where he will be can you be honest for one second abbas he is teaching Aishar the Alana through her teaching us a greater wisdom. What? How okay, how, how this is wisdom? How this is wisdom? Abbas, 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 let us see. Let us. Okay, no, this is not true. This is, this is, this is not true. Hold on, hold on. Where is the wisdom? Where is the wisdom of your God if making you die as an infant and yet you might go to hell? What, what wisdom about that? Because Allah, since He is just, He's only punish you for what you do. Okay, but you did not do anything. This is what we are saying. But this is what we are saying. This infant, hold on. This infant. Punishment of hell is only for sinners. Okay, that's wonderful. Guys, did he, did Abbas, did we hear him saying that punishment of hell is only for sinners? So why the baby might be otherwise? Explain to us. Your God is saying clearly. Huh? Muhammad is not saying he's going there, he's teaching her. No, no, he is saying it clearly, it might be the otherwise. What is the otherwise mean? I tell you, no, this is what I'm saying. He's not saying, he's, he's just teaching her, you don't know. Stop saying the word teaching her. I want you to tell me what may be the otherwise mean. He's teaching her, he's teaching her. We got it, we got it, he's teaching her. He is the teacher who don't know how to do how to write. This is not the question. What otherwise mean? She, she said he will go to heaven. He said it may be otherwise. What otherwise? What is the second option in Islam against heaven? When I, when I corrected you, I was saying the hadith didn't say that. You are assuming. I am asking you, stupid idiot, stop playing dumb. What the word otherwise mean? Otherwise, of course, if it's not paradise, of course it's hell. Of course. Thank you, That's stupid that. idiot donkey. I mean, it took me an hour to make you say it, that of, of course he is saying hell. So why you are saying to me, it doesn't say hell, you idiot. So all this time you are arguing, he didn't say hell, he didn't say hell, he didn't say hell. And now you are saying, of course, if it's not paradise, it must be hell. Never call me again, you are a stupid idiot. I feel sorry for your wife to have a man like you. Pizza boy. Yeah, okay. And they say to you, you need more patient. And you all this time to come to the point to say, yes, you are right. It is about, he will go to hell. 
I have to repeat the same sentence a hundred times. He's teaching her. He's, uh, the prophet is not saying uh, he's teaching her. So the prophet is teaching us wisdom. Uh, you should not be God. Only God he knew. But you, you are the one who said to me, For, of course you will go to heaven. Uh, you got a point here. They got a point. Okay, you got a point here. Here you notice, Islam is a cult which no one have little brain can accept because what is justice? We heard this guy saying, Allah will punish you only if you commit sin. That is false, number one. Islam does not believe in this garbage. The proof in front of you. And we have additional proof. If you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. Muhammad say that. Read carefully. By him in whose hand is my life, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. And he would replace you by those people who commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah. So yes, Allah, he punished people for not committing sin. Sahih Muslim, very authentic hadith. So what we learn from the conversation with Abbas with all this deception and lying and stupidity, that Jesus never commits sin. I hope all of you will download the video. Jesus never ever commits sin. Muhammad did. That means Jesus is perfect. Correct? See, in order for me not to commit sin, that means I am perfect. And isn't it only God perfect? So if you are saying to me that in order to make Jesus not to commit sin, God, he protected him and he made him perfect. But only God is perfect. He just admitted that as a Muslim believe that Satan have no power over Jesus. But guess what? The Quran have a surprise for those Muhammadan who try to defend the faith of Muhammad. The Quran said that Shaitan have no authority over my servant except the criminals. Except who? The criminals. Chapter 15, verse number 42. Only criminals, shaitan can deceive them. He said, Muhammad, he have sinned. That means he's a criminal. Jesus never have sinned. He's not. He's above mankind. And the Quran here proved to us that there is only one person, and we heard Abbas agreeing, Mary, she is protected, and Jesus is protected. And all of us, we knew the story, all of it is about Jesus. The important is the story is not the mother of Mary, is not the father of Mary, it is not even Mary, it is Jesus. But here, that will raise a question. Anyone notice what the question this verse will bring? Very dangerous question. This question alone will destroy Islam from make it into dust. If shaitan have no authority over anyone to commit sin except the criminals, except those who follow thee, follow who? Thee. So when Abbas he agreed that his prophet commit sin, he was following who? Thee. Thee who? Shaitan. Are you getting the point? You have no authority. Allah saying to Shaitan, you have no authority above my God's good servants, except the one who follow thee.
Yeah, according to Muslims, he is not an innocent child. You remember about Al Khadr? No problem. Focus with me this topic now. For my servant, for over my servant, Allah speaking to Shaitan, saying, For over my servant, no authority shall do you have except such as put themselves in the wrong and follow thee. So, what is the condition to be a sinner in Islam? Allah give protection to all Muslims. The verse in front of you. Correct? All. And he said to Shaitan, Oh, you know what? My servant, you have no authority over them. Which means they have my protection. Except those who don't follow me, follow Allah, those who follow you. Which means not the Muslims. The Muslims should not do it wrong. The Muslims should not commit sin. And the Quran uses a very ugly word, Al-Ghawin. Al-Ghawin is the filthy criminal, the pimps, you name it. Muhammad is a pimp. The Quran says so. Because only the pimp, Shaitan, have power over him. For they follow thee. So, in order for Muhammad to commit sin, he have to follow thee, the devil. And this is exactly what the Quran confirmed. Muhammad is a sinner. Jesus never did commit sin. And we heard the Muhammadan saying that clearly. Victory in the name of Jesus. Even in the garbage of Muhammad, we can find the proof that Jesus is sinless. Jesus is holy. Jesus is God. Before Abraham I am. Who of you can approve me as a sinner? Jesus said. Challenging everybody. That is the Messiah and that is your prophet. Jesus said, if you don't become the same like those little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father. Which means children, they go to heaven guaranteed. Muhammad, he said, no, 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 no. We have a God who is an idiot. It might be the otherwise. You commit sin or you don't commit sin, it doesn't matter. Because our God is maniac. He decides where you will go when you wear a sperm before you are born. You commit sin or not, who cares? Do you see how great is the conclusion? While well, Jesus, he promised us that every child will go to heaven. And actually, not only that, he says, we should become like them in order to go to heaven. Why like them? They are innocent. Honesty. Muhammad saying, no. The poor Aisha, she was following her uh, uh, logic as Jesus taught, as the Jews teach around her, as the Christian teach, babies will go to heaven. She was shocked by the answer of Muhammad that no, it might be otherwise, he might go to hell. And you notice how a Muslim, a Muhammadan, he tried to cover the stupidity of his prophet and he tried to avoid to say that this is hell. To the point it took me, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes just to make him say it. Trying to escape. And here you ask yourself, what's the point of being a Muslim anyway? If God, he decides for me where I will go before he made me. So what's the point of being a good man or a bad man? or Be whatever you want, because already it's a predestined. In different hadith, Muhammad, he shows us clearly how evil is Allah and Islam? How? Muhammad, he made it clear. That doesn't matter if you are good or bad. It doesn't matter how much you pray. It doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or a Christian. What matter and only matter is your destiny. Destiny which Allah he designated for you where you will be. Look what Muhammad said.
By Allah, a person among you may do the deeds of people of fire till there is only a cubit or an arm breathe distance between him and fire so what this person is doing is doing everything against the teaching of islam which means he don't want to kill the christians he don't want to kill the jews he don't want to attack the neighbors steal their tv he is not practicing islam as a prophet he was practicing he don't go and wait for the people to feed their animals and he attack them and he raped the women they are not doing so this guy he will go to fire and then it says but then that written between two bracket the destiny which Allah ordered the angels to write proceed and he does the deeds of people of paradise and he enter it it's destiny a guy all his life is doing something will take him to hell now what Allah he wrote will act, be activated then he go to heaven <laughs> and then he said the opposite look and the man may do the deeds of people of paradise till there's only a cubit or two between him and paradise and then that is written proceed and he does the deeds of people of the fire and he enter it so why you want to pray you convert to Islam you convert to Hindu you convert to Christianity you are a, a gay lesbian you are a, whatever you are it doesn't matter it's what is written will take over that means Islam is against justice. While Jesus said that from their fruits you shall know them, Muhammad saying your end based on your destiny only. Now who is a Muslim here have the courage to call? The first one is a shish kebab. Who is the second one? Any Muslim he think he can do better? And the funny, by the way, still they say you are lying. We are showing the reference, we are showing their website. This is their translation. This is not even a Christian translation. This is their translation. And yet they say to you, you are a liar. Why you want to be a Muslim? Look at this garbage. You pray, you don't pray. You do Hajj, you don't do Hajj. So all the Quran was a fabrication. Good deed, bad deed. There we go, good deed. What a good deed? The person is doing sin all his life, and then what Allah wrote will, will, will proceed. And then he go to heaven. So it's not what you do, it's not what you believe, it's not your fruit. It is what Allah decided for you before he made you. And look how this hadith is, exists all over. They cannot say this is da'if. They cannot say this is not accepted. The God of Islam teach that we are a bunch of programmed insect. We are programmed. There's a software inside us will be activated by an app exist in Allah phone. And then you start acting according to the program. And if the program decide to make you act like people who go to heaven, you act to go to heaven. And if the program or the software was coded inside you to go to hell, you will go to hell. What kind of cult this cult is? Huh? Uh, why you take a statement of Bible metaphor? Uh, hold on, Abbas. First of all, I never heard of somebody talking about metaphor as much as Muslims. A second ago, you were calling me and you agreed that this is not a metaphor. This is about going to hell and going to heaven. So why you are talking about metaphor? Now what does this have to do with our topic? 
This is metaphor now. Metaphor of what? It says what is written by Allah will take proceed. This is metaphor? <laughs> metaphor of what? Pizza boy. What is the metaphor here? It says that a child might go to hell otherwise. This is metaphor. Metaphor of what? So you spent all this time with me, talking to me. You did not mention the word metaphor. Now after we spank you and we dump you from the back door, you shake your head 20 times and says, oh, should, should I mention the word metaphor? What metaphor? It says if you commit sin and ask for forgiveness, Allah will like you. If you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. What is the metaphor in it? Metaphor. You know what? Maybe when the Prophet he says Allah will give you in this penis, that was a metaphor of an internet cable. Aha, uh -huh, I was wondering. And we, when he said he would give you a private part of a woman fit for that, it was a metaphor for the, the what they call it, the one, the, the tunnel between France and England. Aha, Allah predicted that tunnel between England and France. Yet it says vagina, brother, but it's not a metaphor. I love it when Muslims they say metaphor. What is metaphor in this? People go to hell, people go to heaven. A child is dying, is a metaphor. Is he dead? Is that metaphor? He will go to heaven. He said no or no. It may otherwise. That's metaphor. He said that Allah decide where you will go when you are a semen in your backbone, the backbone of your father. That's metaphor. Metaphor for what? Anyway, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, at uh, 10 a.m. New York time, we will be uh, live on air. All right, um, and we will have our brother Sam Shamon with us. And the topic will be to answer those who they are from Indonesia. Somebody posted saying that Indonesian, some Indonesian, they are trying to teach Christians that Trinity is not a true, it's not in the Bible. All right? Uh, so tell your friends. And we invite all those Indonesian who claim what they claim to call us. And they can choose if they want me to answer or Sam Shaman, doesn't matter really. Any from those who they are in Indonesia or those who believe in something not, ex not exist really in the Bible, which is a cult to believe in what they believe. Uh, Let me make the title. I'm not sure what, uh, what the title we should make it, guys. What do you think? What we should make the title?
Well, you know, there's you know, you have to be careful. There's many people they claim to be Christian. They are they are cult leaders and they are liars, and we have to be careful. The Bible warned us about those people, so nothing new. Trinity versus Unitarian. Okay. Trinity versus Unitarian. We can do that. Let me create the event and we share it with you right away. And you can start posting the link to your friends. Give me a second. to see okay we created an image and here we go in a second we will post the link for you We will make it tomorrow and it's going to be 10 a.m. in the morning, New York time. So adjust your time for that. Okay, almost done. All right, let me share the link with you guys and I will post it for sure in uh, this is the link if you care to join us this is for the event tomorrow and remember we have our brother Sam Shamoon he will be with us and any if any one of you like to support our brother Sam Shamoon by donation you can go to his channel he have his battery on always that is welcome all right he deserves your help and your support he's a good man he do his best uh, unitarian logic bible does not say trinity so no trinity okay no problem anyway guys tomorrow we will be here and we invite those people who don't, don't agree with us to call us. They are welcome. Uh, we will speak to them nicely. You have to prove us wrong. Otherwise, you are deceiving the Christians, lying to, your, to them and to yourself. Never follow, uh, follow a fool. You see, the problem in this earth is that a fool, he have a mouth. And then the fool, he can fool you. But if a fool can fool you, how fool are you? And this is what we say about Muhammad. If a fool man like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? You must be very, very foolish person. To the point, a fool can fool you. This is why the Bible says, read the books. The Lord, he says that. Look for a truth, search for it, and the truth will set you free. And he said, I am the truth. I am the beginning, I am the end, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. I am the life, I am the resurrection. Those people who say things for you, showing their foolishness, they are no different from Jehovah's Witnesses, and the Bible warned us from many people that try to deceive us 
in order to make us lose our salvation. So don't follow them. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video. As you know, we don't keep our videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified because we are, we are using this channel for now until we inform you that we are going to, do, go, to go and do podcast in the front channel. And again, the best way always to find where I'm going to be, you go to Patreon. You click at the last link I posted there. This Patreon is going to flash in the front of your screen. Patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Always click at the last link I posted and you will find I'm doing broadcast where. So it doesn't matter where I change my YouTube channel. Still, you can join us and be with us in the life. This is why we encourage you to join Patreon, even if you are not going to uh, donate. And remember, our service is for free. But remember, at the same time, there is nothing in this earth for free. That is reality. Even though our service for free, the Lord himself, he paid his blood for you. You might say we are saved for free. It was not. Priceless. Sacrifice. That is not for free. Our service for free, but the Lord, he paid a lot. He humbled himself to come to you, to save you. Imagine you are God, coming for those little ones who they are nothing for him except little mosquitoes maybe. Yet, he told us to call him Father. Yet, he says, I am with you. Every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. Yet he is our Savior. Yet he loves us. Yet we curse him. We insult him. We attack him. We make fun of him. After all, in the cross, he says, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. So it's not right if somebody says to you, you've been saved for free. The Holy Lord himself, he did incredible sacrifice. Humbling himself to come to save you. Crucified, insulted. It was not for free. It was priceless. In the same time, the Lord, he says, for free you took, for free you give. And this is why very soon, maybe tomorrow or the day after, I am going to publish two books for free. One in the Serbian Croatian language and one in the Polish. Both are going to be published for free. And that will make them join the list of books, the one in Malay, the one in, in, in Indonesian. We have two books already in Indonesian. We have in Malay, we have a Russian. Uh, we have Albanian, and now we will have Serbian and Polish, all for the free. In the same time, we appreciate those who support us by their donation, because in order to make things for free, people need to help us, and we appreciate their help. So I want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for having those wonderful people here. Thank you, Lord, for making Abbas calling us because he helped us a lot to show the stupidity of the cult of Islam, that Muhammad is a false prophet. Thank you, Lord, for using us for your glory. For this is a gift we don't deserve. It's an honor we don't deserve. And we pray that the Lord, he will use us more so we can save more soul and more life and more people. We love the Muslims. We don't hate them. Never preach hate, because if you do so, you are the same as Muhammad. You are following the devil. Preach Jesus, who said, love your enemy. So when we scream at a Muslim, losing our patient, we are not hating him. We don't. We are desperately trying to save him. It's like somebody is drowning, and you say to him, "Give, hold my hand, hold my hand. And he said, no, no, no. This is exactly what we are doing. So may the Lord bless you all. Pray for those foolish following the fool Muhammad 
who will take them to nowhere except a pimp house. How in the world a human being can believe that this is heaven and this is God, a God who promised me sexual ability. Isn't it obvious that this is the devil? I mean, do I need to be a genius? The power of 40 men and Muhammad will have the power of 4,000 men. Lamborghini car, his job is boom, boom. This is what heaven now, and this is what we are made for, and this is what we are waiting for, a private part on fire. That is not God. You do not need to be genius. This is the pimp of Las Vegas. This is a whorehouse. And the house of God cannot be a whorehouse. The one who offer you a whore, he himself is a whore. And if a person is created only for sex, that means that person is a whore. But in Islam, this whore is a victim, been forced to do sex. According to the teaching of Muslims, Allah created virgins to do what? To be your whore. They are sex slaves, poor women. To make a person happy sexually. This is the happiness of God in Islam. The sexual God. Those who go somewhere, they go where they belong. There's people, they go every night to night club, strapteza club. And there's people who pray every day. But yet, they are dreaming about going to the strapteza club, which means they are not different. You know what I mean? The one who go to night club, strapteza club, pimp house, is no different from someone praying to a god, because if he do that, he will give him unlimited access to strapteza club and six club. It's the same. Both, they have one god. Those who pray to be with the Holy Lord in His Holy House, in His Holy Promise, they are holy with their dreams and hope, which is going to come true. For God is holy, His heaven is holy, His fruit is holy, His promise is holy. This is why Jesus said, He and she will not get married, but they will be the same as angels which means you will be free. Free from your needs. Islam make you addicted to your needs, will increase your needs. You will become sexually addicted person. You cannot stop having sex. While Jesus, he free you. You will be the same as angels. You do not need to eat. You do not need to have sex. You do not need to sleep. You will be like me. Free. I will give you a freedom, the joy of being free and pure. No needs. Live with me. Enjoy the time of holy with the Holy God. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Please download the video. Join us tomorrow. And again, this is the link. I will post it in Patreon for tomorrow. Uh, is going to be uh, actually. I need to fix the time. Hold. It's going to be yeah. Hold on. Yeah, tomorrow actually it's 10, 10 a.m. in the morning in New York time. Ten a.m. in in the morning in New York time. Uh, I will be sure that this is the correct time there. And until I see you soon again, I say may the Lord bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince Hambly. Wish you the best, praying for you all. Enjoy your time with your family. If you are a husband, hold the hand of your wife, pray with her, so the Lord will guide you, will make your life better. If you are a wife, do the same, and be a person who protect herself, protect her family. A person who like to live and be happy and nothing happiness can happen no happiness can happen if we strip ourselves from God for he is our father out of heaven 
He taught us to forgive in order to be forgiven. If somebody hurt you, forgive, for then you can live. Those who live with their hatred, revenge, they are dead already. Don't be dead. Learn from the Lord how to be happy. Happiness is a gift from the Lord, and only those who they are gifted by the Holy Spirit, they will find their way. So I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you to be happy, to learn how to be happy. And you will not be happy by anger. You will not be happy by hatred. You will not be happy by revenge. You will be happy by forgiveness. Forgive. Take all from your heart. Let go. Be holy like your Father. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care.